But my dad is like the real character of the family. Like he always had this master plan for a problem that never worked ever. All right? We had a, a pool growing up in our backyard. It's a nice pool. It had a deep end, had a shallow end, had a lining in it. And uh, one day the lining of the pool got ripped at the very bottom. And he had to fix it. Now, he could have easily drained out all the water first, uh, but that would have been simple, <laughs> safe, and efficient. <laughs> he ain't got time for that. So he figures he'll just get a backpack, all right? Fill it full of rocks to hold him down at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, so he can fix it without floating up. And then he's going to use a garden hose to breathe through. <laughs> Me and my brother are just supposed to hold it at the top for him. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen him. Oh, he was hanging on the side of that pool. He's got a sack of rocks on his back. There's duct tape everywhere. Hose. And he got nervous right before he went underwater. And he gave us this little speech. He's like, right, listen to me. Shut up. This is important. Listen. If you two boys feel your daddy here tugging on this hose, that means abort mission. <laughs> and I want you to pull me back up with the hose. So you got to imagine two 10-year-olds just standing there with this hose, you know, in charge of their father's life. And we're just thinking, Daddy sure is smart. <sighs> He's down there in maybe 10 seconds. And of course, the water pressure starts to collapse the hose, right? Yeah, so he starts tugging on it. And me and my brother panic, man. We just, we, we, we just yank it. <laughs> out of his mouth and out of the pool. <laughs> and you cannot get a hose to go back underwater. It snakes up on you. So he's down there freaking out, you know, because he can't get the backpack off. <laughs> Me and my brother up top, hey, look, daddy's waving. <laughs> Finally, he decides the only way out of this problem is he has just got to run as fast as he can to the shallow end of the pool, up the slope. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody just get it <laughs> underwater with a sack of rocks on their back. <laughs> Look like an astronaut on a Stairmaster. <laughs> he finally made it up somehow, all the way up to the shallow end. He's just like, <laughs> come here, both of you. What the hell? <laughs> Didn't you two idiots? Didn't you see your daddy down there waving for help? We're just like, well, we just thought you was waving, daddy. What's an idiot? You guys like to have fun? I can't stand it. <laughs> just kidding. This is, do this. If you like to have fun, do this. Go out in public and just find a guy talking on his cell phone, all right? And then gently walk up to him like this. And then lean in and start listening to him. <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> Can I talk on it? <laughs> now, they'll get annoyed after a minute, you know? They'll say, what, excuse me? Can I have a little privacy, please? That's when you say this. No, <laughs> because you're in public. <laughs> yeah. That's how it works. That's how that system works. It turns out there's no privacy in public. In fact, your privacy is invading our public. <laughs> so I guess I should tell you guys I love beer. You got beer drinkers in here? That's my kryptonite. That's my weakness. I'd marry beer if I could. You know, will you, beer, take me to be your awfully wetted husband until a DUI do us part?
I'd like to meet the guy that invented beer and then buy that dude a beer. <laughs> I even love those old beer slogans, man. You guys remember this one? There's old Milwaukee. It don't get no better than this. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> they should say, old Milwaukee. It don't get no cheaper than this. <laughs> That's why you buy it. That's why you've ever bought it. I know you've all done that beer math in your head, right? You're in front of the beer cooler at the grocery store. You're freaking out. Hang on, I get this. I can figure this out now. Hang on. Okay, okay. Here's the deal. Here is the deal. We can get a case of Heineken or 15 cases of old Milwaukee. That's a no-brainer. That's Milwaukee every time. How much fun do you want to have? I like Budweiser. That's my favorite beer, Budweiser. Not because of the way it tastes or anything, but because it's the easiest one to order when you're hammered. Bartender says, last call. You cannot say Heineken after 15 Heinekens. <laughs> last call, what can I get you? Have a dead. Have a nanny. Bud. I got a better one though, man. I'm coming out with my own beer. It's gonna be huge. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna name it, uh. <laughs> Last call, what can I get you? Uh. <laughs> Two, please. 1750. Put that on the card. This is how much I love beer. I don't know if you've noticed this yet. Have you seen my belt buckle? Check that out, y'all. It's a bottle opener. Look at that. Yeah. Dudes, you gotta get one of these, man. Chicks, dig it. You see a girl with a beer at a party? Let me get that for you, sweetheart. Pow, pow! Looks like you got a whole bucket of beers over here. All righty. <laughs> uh. All right, so who's your favorite NFL team? Just yell it out. <laughs> Me too. I'm from North Carolina. I like the Panthers, Carolina Panthers. Wow. <laughs> that's, what, that's what a Panther does. I know that because I went to a game and they play that sound effect like every 15 seconds. Jake DeLome just scratched his nads. We moved the ball two inches. Like, I get it, we're a panther. It's like there's some dude on crack and he broke into the booth and he locked the door and he's got a C and say. He's like, the panther says. Do other teams do that? I've never heard first down Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> Interception by the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> we'll squirt you at that hole in her head. Touchdown, Dallas Cowboys. Yee-haw! <laughs> they do drugs. <laughs> Man, that's a good one. You want more? Better subscribe to my YouTube channel, yeah? Click on that notification bell too.